Today I'm gonna be showing you the makeup that I've been doing recently that I honestly can't get enough of. So this is like basically an everyday routine. There are elements that really elevate it sometimes and I don't always do the elevated bits of it, but I'm gonna show you like the most full routine and then sometimes I do scale it back just depending on, you know, the day or how much energy I have, but I really wanted to share with you just the products that I can't stop reaching for this summer. There hasn't been a day this month, I feel like, or at least since I tried this, that I don't put this on before makeup. Now, usually this stays upstairs in my bathroom cabinet, so I do this as my last step in my skincare routine, but I wanted to like bring it down here so that I could apply it on camera because it's truly so beautiful. I love how it looks by itself, but also underneath makeup. I literally use this as my primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with my hands just all over my face. I love how it smells, which is kind of weird, but I really do. And I feel like it sinks into the skin and it just creates the most beautiful, perfect canvas for my makeup. So I'm gonna let this kind of sink into the skin a little bit. So I mentioned this in my favorites video last month and it's a product that just looks so fresh on the skin. So I'm wanting to use it again, obviously. This is the Rare Beauty positive light tinted moisturizer. I wear mine in the shade 14W and I can't get enough of this stuff. This actually also has sunscreen in it, but I still layer the two. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I love this so much and it's just been a part of my routine. So even if I have this on and I use this and it has sunscreen in it, oh well. I feel like more sunscreen can't hurt, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and I'm going to start to apply this with a brush. I love the coverage that this gives. Like you can see it cancels out my redness and it blurs things like blemishes, but it still gives the most beautiful skin-like finish that actually kind of is on the more dewy side, but not oily. Like by the end of the day, I don't look super oily, which is, you know, hard to find in a tinted moisturizer. I feel like it balances my skin pretty well overall and just makes my complexion look and feel so healthy. So once that's blended out with a brush, I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and just make sure there's no brush lines. So I'm just gonna kind of press this in. This is one of those products where I would honestly feel comfortable leaving the house like this because <laughs> I feel like it just evens out the redness in my skin so well. But like I said, it still looks like skin. So if I was going for a super no makeup makeup look, a lot of times I reach for this. Sometimes I'll add a little concealer if I didn't get much sleep the night before, it just depends. Um, and then maybe like a cream blush and I feel like I'm ready to go or I'll brush up my brows. It's just a really good everyday product that I feel like you can really dress up and make a little more glam or scale it back and make it a very everyday product. I'm still using this. <laughs> What's new? I feel like this is definitely the concealer of the year at this point. I can't stop using it. It's the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum and I wear the shade Light. So I just take this from the back of my hand with my sponge and then just go ahead and use this to brighten up the under eye area. Since that tinted moisturizer does such a good job at canceling out redness or just kind of evening out the skin tone, I don't feel the need to go overboard with concealer on the face unless I have like an active obvious blemish or two, then I'll do it. But today, like I really do like where my skin is at. So we're just gonna focus the concealer underneath the eyes. Okay, so next up, I've been really reaching for this Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. So I have been using kind of a cream bronzer and then sometimes a powder bronzer. Other days when I'm scaling it back a little bit, I will just use one or the other. I don't layer them, but today I'm gonna layer them so that you can see, again, all the products that I've been reaching for kind of in one tutorial. So we're gonna take this first and I'm just gonna start to apply this around the perimeters of the face and also underneath the cheekbones to kind of sculpt and warm the complexion. I feel like this product is also really nice for a more no makeup makeup look because you can really sheer it out if you want to and it just adds the perfect amount of warmth and sculpt to the face. By the way, I wear the shade light um, without looking, you know, like makeup-y, which I love. So honestly, sometimes I do just wear this and I find that it pairs really well on top of the Rare Beauty um, tinted moisturizer. Specifically, I don't know. I just feel like it's a nice combo. I'm going over everything with a sponge just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay, and then I set the face and I just, I'm still using the Huda Beauty powder. I did just barely try the Laura Mercier pink tinted powder in my last video. Really into that, but you know, this is what I've been reaching for consistently. So I'm gonna use this today. And I'm using the shade Cupcake, which has a little bit of a pink tint to it, which I feel like just blends into my skin tone really nicely so that it doesn't look too insanely different from my skin tone, which I like for every day, so that it just kind of blends in seamlessly and you can't really tell 
then I'm wearing like a brightening powder underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set the entire face with this. Okay, so if for some reason I don't feel like doing cream bronzer, I will skip cream bronzer, go into powder, and then go into a powder bronzer. And the one that I've been reaching for a ton is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the pressed bronzer. And I've been wearing the shade Vitamin D. So like I said, sometimes I wear it just like this. Like I'll just keep the cream contour and set it with a powder and it's plenty for more of a no makeup makeup look. If I want it to be extra summery, I will use this powder bronzer um, either by itself or layered. So I'm just gonna put this right on top of where we just applied the contour. And this gives a little bit more of an oomph, you know, where the Mario one is, is a very soft sculpt, like it's called. This one makes me feel like I'm sun-kissed. It's a really nice warmer toned bronzer that I feel like doesn't pull too orange or red on my fair skin, which is nice. I find it really flattering because of that. So I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply this all over and I'm kind of going into the crease of the eye with my brush with what's left, just to sculpt that at the same time. And then of course, I always like to blend the edges with the powder brush that we just used. Okay, so after bronzer, I like to do my brows. And I've actually been reaching for the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil, partially because I couldn't find the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade gray, which is, I actually really love this shade for myself because it's a very cool toned brown. Anyways, so I've been using this and I actually really have liked it. I like how quickly I'm able to fill in my brows with this. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this. Okay, now that the brows are filled in, I'm just taking the bronzer brush and I'm pinching it and just kind of throwing that into the crease a little bit more just to act like eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I've actually been dipping back into an old favorite of mine and it's from Bodyography. This is the glitter pigment in the shade Sparkler. I'm obsessed. So this is another step that's like, you know, a little bit extra for every day. But like I said, I'm gonna show you all the things I've been using. If I want a more toned down look, I skip this and just go to mascara, but I just think it's so easy and pretty for summer, especially like a summer night. So I just go ahead and press that all over the lid, just like that. So pretty, I love these. This comes in so many different shades, but Sparkler is by far my favorite and most used. So if you've never tried this formula before, I would highly recommend starting with Sparkler personally, because it's just a color that works for so many different situations and it's so pretty. I love that, okay. Now that we've got a little summer sparkle on the lids, I'm just gonna do a little mascara and I've been wearing this a ton. This is from Cali Ray. I just like how this doesn't budge, which is so important during the summer. So I either wear this or my Thrive Cosmetics one in the summertime specifically because I just can't deal with mascara smudging or flaking, especially in the heat. And this one never does, neither does the Thrive one. So I'm gonna pop this on the lashes. I like to do just a little on the lower lashes but mostly focus it on the top outer edge, just like that, okay? All right, for blush, I catch myself dipping into blush palettes quite a bit. I think because I like to mix and match different shades and just kind of layer them. So one of them is a really new palette to me, so I'll, I'll mention it because I have been using it. It's this Makeup Forever Face Palette. Here's what it looks like on the inside, and I've been wearing these two blush colors. I actually haven't even tried the other four. I've just been mixing these two quite a bit. So that's one option. I've also been dipping back into my Jack and Cosmetics Rouge Romance Blush Palette. So pretty, again, I can hop back and forth between colors and kind of create something custom. So I'm really into both of these. I'm trying to figure out which one to use. I could maybe layer them. I do wanna show you guys how this looks because it's so pretty. So I'm gonna take this light pink and dip it onto the bottom of my sponge and then kind of go into the back of my hand to make sure it's distributed evenly into my sponge and then I'm just gonna smile and start to apply this to the apples of the cheeks. And this just gives such a beautiful lit from within baby pink cheek, which I love. And also because it's a cream, I feel like it adds a little bit of a glow to the skin. It makes my skin look even more skin-like, even though I used like a setting powder all over the face. So there's that one. I think this is so pretty and this is actually what I've been reaching for quite a bit when I do like the more no makeup makeup look. So, that's when I use this Mario cream bronzer and I will do a little bit of this color blush, a little bit of setting powder and no glitter on the eyes. And I really have been liking how that looks. Maybe we'll do a little bit of French Kiss, which is another go-to shade for me from the Jaclyn palette. And I'll just layer that right on top on the apples of the cheeks. I'm also gonna put a little bit in the crease of the eye. But yeah, I've been really enjoying both of these blush palettes. Honestly, I feel like you can't go wrong with either. I've used this one for way longer than this one, but I really am enjoying at least these two colors so far. I'm gonna have to keep using it and um, try out the other blush shades, but I'm really enjoying it. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. This is where I reach for a lip liner and it can be any color lip liner. I go for more pink tones these days. So I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. This is kind of like a pinky peach and I'm just gonna line and fill in the lips with this. It's really helpful when you start your makeup with a little bit of lip balm because when you wipe off the lip balm, it makes it easy to color in the lips with the lip liner. So that's just a little tip. And then I cannot get enough of the Jaclyn lip oils, um, specifically Rose Drip. Oh my goodness, I love this, but I've talked about these so many times recently, especially, and I just mentioned them again in my favorites video. This is by far my most used shade, but I'm really enjoying a lot of the shades since she just launched 10. This formula is to die for though. So I'm just gonna apply that right on top. Okay, so I'm going to assess the situation and I actually really like where everything's at. I don't think I need any more bronzer, which is very rare. You guys know I always like to add a little more bronzer. Um, I am taking my powder brush and just kind of stippling the edges around the forehead and around my blush. Now, some people might think this is crazy, but I really haven't been wearing highlighter during the day because I feel like when I use the cream blush and also the tinted moisturizer, I already have a really glowy base. So I don't really feel the need to add extra glow especially not during the daytime. So I like to set the face. I've actually been using this setting spray so much these days, if it will focus, hello, here it is. <laughs> the Lawless Glam Guard Longwear Setting Spray. It's really good. My only complaint is that sometimes when I travel, it kind of explodes and the cap gets stuck because it's kind of like sticky when it dries down. But this really does help my makeup last all day. So I'm just gonna give this a shake and then I'm gonna spritz the entire face with this and let it sink in. You guys know I like to take my sponge and press down the setting spray. It makes such a difference, not only with like the longevity because the setting spray gets locked in even deeper, but also with like the finish of the skin. To me, it's a really key step. And then I go in with my summer stable product. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I just make sure to kind of pinpoint the areas that I don't want oil to come through. So for me, it's through the T-zone since that's where I get oily on the tip of the nose, on the chin a little, and then I like to lock in the smile lines too, just like that. And then I set the brows and I've actually been using this. This is from Keys Soul Care, which is Alicia Keys brand and it's their clear brow gel. I don't know, I really like this because it's not super heavy, like it's a very lightweight formula, but I find that it really holds the brows. So for a fresh summer look, this seems to be something that I've been reaching for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock the brows in place with this. Okay, and then after that, that's pretty much everything. Like I really do wear these products like crazy. Like I said, sometimes it's more toned down. This is a little bit more of a glam version, but I still feel like you could wear this on a daily basis. I'm somebody who likes to wear glittery eyeshadow out in the daytime. That's just me, I really love it. But I can't stop reaching for these. So I really wanted to sit down and share like my full face of things that I am just really loving for summer. I can't stop wearing it. So yeah, I had to tell you guys all the things that are just making me feel really polished and put together and have been wearing really well as far as hours go. And as far as like the heat goes, I feel like my makeup holds up really well with these products. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this routine and hearing about some of my favorite products right now. As always, I would love to hear from you guys. I wanna hear what you're reaching for when it comes to makeup. Do we have any similarities? I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, we wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you will get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.